All right, what is West Coast Swing? In this tutorial, we're gonna talk about the basics of modern swing called West Coast Swing. The basic patterns are six and eight count patterns. They look like this, one, two, three, and four, five, and six. So if we walk this out, leaders are always starting the left foot. We're gonna walk in place, walk, walk, triple step, triple step. If you're a numbers person, that would be one, two, three, and four, five, and six. There's three basic patterns we're gonna do. We're gonna do what's called a push break or sugar push. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. So Megan comes to me, I stop her, and I stop her on the other side. We have side passes, a left and a right side pass. A left side pass would look like this. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. One, two, three, and four, five and six. So you can see Megan is dancing down the slot. I'm getting out of the way. We also have a right side pass where Megan would pass me on the right side. So currently we have a sugar push or push break, four, five and six. We have a left side pass, four, five and six. Then we have a right side pass. So if you notice, Megan gets this slot area and I stay in the way. The third basic pattern is a whip. Now the timing changes, one, two, three, and four. We walk, walk, triple step. So if we did the eight count in place, it would be walk, walk, triple step, another walk, walk, and a triple. Do it again. Oh, one, two, three, and four. Walk five, six, seven, and eight. So in this one, two, three, and four, a five, six. And Megan goes up and back down the slot. Two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now there's a couple of things that really characterize West Coast Swing and make it really cool. The first one is that every pattern ends with a triple step that stays in place. We call this the anchor step. What the anchor does is let us connect to each other and create this stretch, which starts to look really cool in West Coast Swing. We create this stretch between us, right? The final thing that really characterizes West Coast Swing is even within the basic patterns, we have a lot of freedom to move our bodies, right? We have a lot of freedom. As long as my hand stays there, we get this freedom and we're still dancing the basics of West Coast Swing. Now, if you wanna really learn the basics, that's not the goal of this video, it's just to introduce you. You can either grab our beginner course, which is $7, it's the ultimate guide for beginners, everything you need to know to make you feel comfortable with West Coast Swing, or you can stay right here on YouTube and watch our beginner video where we'll teach you the seven patterns of West Coast Swing, leaders, followers, footwork, everything you need to know. See you on the dance floor soon.